Jetia, this is my cola. Samenegonge Jetia, this is my cola. Samenegonge Yoli Satarik, you laugh and laugh. Samenegonge Jetia, this is my cola. Samenegonge New kind of cult where everything goes. A kind of cult where everything goes. Oh, the street meets the law in this funny cult. In Tibu Nimra. Missu minimra, woo nimra, missu minimra. You know the rules, but I know the exceptions. You know the exceptions, but I know the rules. KJT Amakola, we all learned the law. From Ghana to America, KJT to Makola. All are welcome to this court. All tries for your lordship, Judge Louise Lamis. All right, thank you, Punisher. Please. Welcome, Your Honor. You can sit. Thank you. <clears throat> the plaintiff, Bob Azuma, versus the defendant, Mimi Boatin. Bob Azuma is suing Mimi Boatin for an amount of 40,000 Ghana cities on charges of causing psychological confusion and emotional distress, which led him being fired from his job. Bob averts that the sexy pictures Mimi posts on Facebook confused him and made him commit errors in his accounting job. He wants the court to award him damages and other reliefs the court would deem appropriate. This court is in session. All right, let me hear what you have for me today. Your Honor, what we have here for you today is a a rather sad case. A what? A rather sad case. A rather? A rather, rather. Oh. R-A-T-H-E-R. Yeah, I, I, I think I have you now. Uh -huh. um, children of nowadays, we don't know where they want to go. Your Honor, there is something called uh, social media. I know you, you, you know about social media. They have uh, a Facebook. Uh, I do, I do, counsel. Uh, very well. Uh, my favorite is uh, Instagram. Good. Yes, because uh, I don't have to read anything. I just have to watch pictures and videos, and I am gone. And the mountains, sir? <laughs> Council, this is from that. Your Honor. You know what I can do? No, you don't Council, can I hear you? Yes, Your Honor, you can hear me. Um, Your Honor, the case in front of us is uh, um, what uh, somebody has used social media to do to uh, render our client in a situation that is rather unfortunate. Mm, I see. The, the defendant, a madam, a, a Mimi, is a Facebook, uh, they call them a slay queen, or if you want, a boss chick. Your Honor, she's always posting um, uh, pictures that uh, are a bit X-rated. On Facebook? On Facebook. So uh, my client chanced upon some of these pictures. And uh, as a man with uh, a blood running through his, his body, the three people, they have some, they say that Tejrema uh, uh, and Moja Relief Rusani. It means all his systems are working. As a man like that, he was a bit confused about uh, such pictures. You understand what I'm trying to say, Your Honor? Yeah. When you see a nice lady with uh, some things exposed, uh, you are tempted to be confused. And that is exactly what happened. In that state of confusion, Your Honor, he wrote some things. He's an accountant. And you know how even a dot in one figure can change everything. Okay. And that one thing he wrote in that time of confusion mm. has cost him his job. That is the case. And it is the defendant's fault 
Because if you had not posted the sexy pictures for him to come and see, he wouldn't have been confused. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, your, your Honor, before we um, allow our learned colleague here, that is um, our opponent, to put out your, uh, uh, his statement, Your Honor, we have a little something we want to say. It is in the Bible. That is Romans. Uh, let me get it right for you. Romans 14, 13. Okay. It says, do not cause another to stumble. In the Bible, it says, in three, Thank you. Quite well made. Thank you very much, Your Honor. So and uh, we need to add that our client here is an elder in the church as well. Okay. So, by posting her pictures on Facebook, you're saying she caused your client to make mistakes in his, at his work? Yes, because our client oh, was, trying to, um, was trying to advise her whilst we, we, we left that one out. She was, he was trying to advise her because he's an elder in the church. And they said that always try to convert people who are unbelievers into believers. So he was convert, trying to convert her. Trying to help and her. And as a result, he, uh, he made a mistake in... A small, teeny, weeny, and, very little, insignificant mistake. Okay. And he's been fired. <laughs> hmm. Your Honor, so we, we, we pray your court uh, to let her... Uh, he compensate him for losing his job because really? he has lost. He has yes. lost his source of income because of the pictures and everything that. that and as a good man, he saw. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you very much, Your Honor. Ah, uh, ah, Your Honor, it's for you. It's for you. There is for you. <laughs> Your Honor, this one is ridiculous. It's ridiculous, and I think that. It's something you are going to throw away. Because do you know how? That's a good attempt. Well, Your Honor, it reminds, it's almost like something I've said before. It doesn't matter, he's saying it now. And sure. uh, it's, it's, but it's English for you. <laughs> <laughs> and let him have this one. All right, so ridiculous and ludicrous. Very good. So, Your Honor, before I start, I'm going to quote something small for you. Your Honor, yes. this is. Some language from is the, is, is the combine of Flafla and Thailand. You call him <laughs> Thai Fla. It said that Namble Namadun the Bad Dun that the Ba Banunga Sinda the Baba Objection, Your Honor. Yes. Your objection, sir. Your Honor, what is happening here? Where? Your Honor, my little colleague here just quoted Typha. Yeah. And I, I thought uh, Typha was something that I, I, the language I know, but what he said is not Typha. Yeah, who told you? Okay. So what is it? Typha. Say it again. Yeah. Yes, I'm listening. You, I know you are Flafla, so you know what I'm talking about. So. That part is flat. Just tell me if I'm wrong, okay? Never neglect. Now my niece said, "Let that when it bears to now, now my bees are nine more." You see, your honor is do this. You know. Can we carry on? Very so, good. Your defense, sir. Your honor. Yes. My client, I have not done anything. If you are going to look at something and you have wrong. Why you have come to bring my kind? That my kind have do something that you have not do. He forced you to go and look. Your Honor, let me point that my kind don't coerce him to look at the thing. Coerce. Yeah, coerced. He has not coerced you to look at the thing. I mean, all the things I've right here. <laughs> By the time you are you are finished, you know that this boy don't have anything to tell you. They have just talked about the bush. 
random employment. Now, Your Honor, he's just putting words together. Just putting random words uh, uh, to make no sense. What have you done? I say random improvement. You two say random West. <laughs> Why? It is the same thing. Okay, thank you. Um, let's call our witnesses and then. Very good. Um, Your Honor, the, the prosecution would like to call the defendant to the stand. All right. Hey, Madam Slave Queen, how are you doing today? I'm not fine. Can you be stable for me? <laughs> this is how I am, and you can't do anything about it. This is me. Does, it, does the movement disturb your Yes, yes your Honor, it disturbs me. It disturbs me very well, Your Honor. Just, Your Honor, how does this disturb you? Your Honor, my eye is doing this. <laughs> So don't look, listen. No, not even if I listen. I guess I'm going to be shaking. All right, carry on. <laughs> can, can you uh, tell the court whether you are aware there are children also on social media? I am nobody's role model. I did not ask if you are somebody's role model. I asked you a simple question. Are you aware that there are children also on social media? Yes. So, do you think it is good that you are promoting a sexuality for, for people who are even underaged to see all of these things? Point of correction. My page is a business page hmm? for billionaires. And it's targeted at men, not boys, not children. Do you control the people who come to your, your business that you are talking about? Uh, by the way, what business do you do? Oh, I am the business. Or you can't see. I am the business. They see, they look at what they like, and they pay for it. It's as simple as that. You are the business? Yes. Your Honor, no further questions. <laughs> <laughs> Your Honor, can I ask just one quick okay, question? Please. <clears throat> um, you said they see, they like, they pay. What do they see? What do they like? What do they pay? What, do what they pay? I have worked for all this. So what do they do exactly? Well, I am into escort business. I escort businessmen to their business meetings. In other words, are you talking about, um, is it prostitution? I'm Jason, no. no. It's not. Point of correction. Okay, it's good. not prostitution. So you, they, you escort them? I am just an escort. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much, Your Honor. So, I see I'll tell him. You are a spot. Caught. Caught hot. <laughs> escort. You are a escort. Yes. You have not done anything wrong. No. Oh, no. Your no. Honor. My crime business is called road murder. <laughs> <laughs> it's a road murder. Because if anyone wants to come and go to some place, then he can to escort them to the place. <laughs> and people see the people and say that, oh, I like the woman you yeah, are escort with. They say that, yeah. By that time, he has paid him. So if somebody is doing your own work, why is this my heart bling to the, my crime to court? You know what I So as you can see, this is bad mother show. Hey, sorry. <laughs> So, Your Honor, as you can see, this is badashos. This is outrageous. <laughs> and this is okay. Thank you, sir. I arrest my case. <laughs> How are you finish? I'm going to show you something to tell you. <laughs> All right, um, I believe you can take your seats. Um, um, 
more witnesses. No, not from us, your owner. We are, we are okay. Can't your honor, they say that what? Tick for tack. Tick tack. So I'm going to call that man to the printing. Okay. They're not going to call before. <laughs> <laughs> He's a church elder. What is he going to do in court? He does not have throne. So, tell me, do you know my client? Well, on social media, on Facebook, yes, I do. You know him that he is hot? Um, she is, well, I quote an unquote friend I've been advising. You have been hot advising. How, how, how long has this been your trying to advise her? How oh, very good. Three months, one week, 14 days. Your Honor, three months, one week, 14 days. Are you crazy? <laughs> Why what this is that? <laughs> huh? Yeah. It's like you are telling me, thousand million. It's a three CD and 48 coins. Are you crazy? <laughs> so what you want him to say is that one month, three weeks. Very good. Simple so and short. Good. All right. Now, if you are, you are do a, you try one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If she will hear you, she will not hear you the other. <laughs> okay. Um, are we done? Do you have questions for him? Um, your Honor, I just want to verify one particular thing. You are the elder of a church. Yes, please. And so it is your duty given to you by the church. Exactly. To evangelize. Exactly. Matthew chapter 25. That is where my Lord says I should evangelize. Your Honor, so he was only doing his Christ-like duty. I see. And uh, he fell into temptation. I see. Thank you. Your Honor, a quick one. Now, please tell this honorable court, prior to this supposed mistake, this teeny weeny mistake, by the way, the mistake, uh, how much did it, co did it cost the company? 30,000 Ghana cities. 30,000 Ghana cities. I see. Yes, Thank please. you. I think I'm okay. Okay. Please. You can take a seat. Um, let's call the last witness and then um, let me give my judgment. No, no, to call Mr. Labis. B. Calabis. Hey, Labi. Yeah. Labi. I think it's your name, Sam. That's why I said Labis. So, quick one. Please, tell this honorable court. Prior to the time that you sat this man, had this man do something wrong before? Your Honor, the, he has never um, done anything wrong ever since I've been working with him for five years. Very good. So, if you have do something wrong one, like that, and maybe you, you can pardon him. But you have not pardoned him, you have sucked him. Why? What you see that makes you say that? No, this one. <laughs> this one. Enough is enough. What happened? Your Honor, I think that um, making the company lose as much as 30000 is not just any money. And as a company that is also going into collection of money from people who owe other companies, we owe it a duty to make sure that every money we collect, we are able to account for it very well. Apart from that, one thing I've also observed about my uh, worker is that he is uh, an addict of social media. And so coming to work and seeing him after doing whatever he did and seeing him do watch this kind of picture, I realized that if I continue keeping him there, then maybe the next time I'll be losing about 50,000 or 200,000. So, Your Honor, what this might do is hot, Wallant, what this might do. <laughs> wow. I think he deserves a round of applause. No, no, it's not a plus word. <laughs> I like the way you are going now. You actually look for the words to suit your arguments and but, you use them. Yeah. One day at a time, we'll get there. Very good. We'll shame those who think there is no hope. Yeah. I like it.
Me too, I like him. <laughs> All right, so any questions for you? Want one, one very simple. How are you worry yourself? You always say you like me, you have lose the kiss. <laughs> Carry on. One very quick question. You said that your, your worker is an addict. He has worked with you for five years. He has not done anything before. Are you aware that if somebody is an addict of something we help, that person, instead of segregating that person? Yes, I appreciate the fact that I needed to help. But then my organization is not um, what somebody would call um, a referral point where people who are addicted are addressed or issues people have. I am just in for business. And like I said, that is not to say that I have never seen him and maybe have forewarned him about seeing him do some of these things. But there's a limit to what I can take in my organization. Like I said, if I'm taking money from people and people entrust their money in my hands, I can't be allowing people also it's making okay, more losses. It's okay. It's okay. This is what uh, some people in our country do. Somebody who commit their lives to you, work for you for five years. And the one time that the person needs help, you kick the person out. All right. No further question. All right, so thank you all for your arguments. Um, you claim that you were there to advise her. Yes, please. For your argument, I know that Facebook has a, 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 an age limit. Yeah, um, it's there. I think it's about 13 or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Universal. So your argument about children, I think it's the job of the parents to make sure that their children don't get home. Because, yes, even if we had the power, which we don't, um, to penalize her for uploading pictures there or content there that is not appropriate, um, you cannot control what is uploaded worldwide. Therefore, um, that is a non-starter. Your, your witness said something, that the company is not a referral point so that you have to help people, there to help people. I think that is wrong. If you want to get the best out of your workers, when they are in trouble and when they are, they are in need, you should be there to help them. That is, you can let them go after you've realized that they are unhelpable. They can't be helped. But as for you, you have no case at all. If you have proof that what she's doing is against the laws of our country, oh yes, we will deal with that. But the case you brought is, she caused you, she caused you to make a mistake. Not to be in picture. How in picture cost you? Yeah. I think it's a back and shots. It's a it's a it's a, <laughs> it's a I'm help <laughs> I'm trying so hard <laughs> not to use any of the words you've mentioned. Your Honor. But this is a, so a foolish case. I throw the case out. It's unfortunate, but I have to rule in favor of the defendant. Ah! Um, this court is adjourned. Oh, it's your case. Lord, see. Drag Africa, you know. I share my in Africa, Buano, in Africa, Buano, in Africa, Buano, in Africa, Buano, let us all unite and celebrate together. The victory is one for our liberation. Let us dedicate ourselves to rise together to defend our liberty and unity. This is my cola. Asamenegong. Jetia. This is my cola. Asamenegong. Purely satiric. You laugh and laugh. Asamenegong.